Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and this time we are gonna go as... Who sh it's getting it's getting to the point where it's kind of tricky nowadays. It's kind of it's kind of difficult to know who to go as. It really is. Um, damn. I guess I could do Kane Greedier. That's a pretty easy one because we get a key off the bat, so we can see what our um, thingy contains. And Mysterious Liquid's pretty good off the bat. Blue Cap's even better. Okay, this is a pretty good start. Mysterious Liquid is an item that I really, really enjoy. Also, Melatonin is incredible when it comes to um, when it comes to greedier mode. So I will buy Melatonin also because it means we can stack it up multiple times on the waves. It means it's not so good for the actual boss itself, but it makes the waves like real goddamn easy. So I think it's probably a good idea nonetheless. Um, We'll try and get this guy taken care of. As for the question of the day today, um, hmm, what's a what's a very unconventional food combination that you really like that you know most people will think you're absolutely disgusting for enjoying? Mine is um, I once made so I I really like carbonara um like. Pasta carbonara um, with like the, the sort of bacon or um, pancetta, cheese, eggs, all that sort of good stuff. Carbonara is just the best. And I once made it with tuna instead of um, instead of bacon. And like every single person I've ever told thinks it's the most heathenous thing they've ever they've ever heard of. But it was actually really really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and the the yeah it, what, like it probably wasn't the best idea but I've really enjoyed it so can't hold it against me right uh we did get enough to get melatonin right off the bat which is really nice hmm I've been getting this slight slight issue on my new monitor where at certain angles and in certain positions, the screen flickers, like the colours flicker a little bit. And it's doing a little bit now in Isaac, and I'm not quite sure why. Oh god, it's doing it really bad in this room now. It wasn't doing it before. Very strange. Very strange. I'm not... Like I said, I don't really know what, what the deal is with that. Let's get two uses of this going. But even just two uses, it gives you so much... So much extra fire rate, and then obviously... It gives you sleepy time tears as well, which is real nice. Real, real nice. There you go, get one more use of it going. That was almost very, very stupid. But yeah, slows them down and eventually freezes them. Actually, with Mysterious Liquid, this is a very good combination. Don't fucking eat my coins. You little miscreant. Very weird, it wasn't doing it a second ago, and now it's really bad. It must be something to do with, like, certain times of booting the game. Maybe it's something to do with recording, potentially? I don't know. Weird. Hopefully it's not something super consistent, because it is slightly visually distracting. If anyone knows why, it might be my monitor, it might be my graphics card. I'm not entirely sure. Of course, we're going to go Angel Deal here. We always do. We always do. It might not be something consistent, so we'll, we'll just we'll just chill for now. To the next floor we go. Um, seems to be like the moment I enter a room, and it stops when I when I like I'm in the room for a, a second or two. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Right. Okay. I don't have a key right now. That's stupid. Um, grab ourselves the key. Pesci might be a decent idea here. Unfortunately, Robo Baby 3.0 is not exactly great. Neither is that. We can pause ourselves in here. We try to try and use this as much as we possibly can. Obviously, I was just about to say we don't want to get ourselves hit with it because it does freeze you for a moment. My bad. Okay, we're to 7.2 already. Good, good, good. 
I think we've got this in the bag here. I don't know what Robo Baby 3.0 really does. He just kind of dives around the room, firing some electric every now and again. He's not great. He's not great. 9.45 already. Bloody hell. Yeah, this is able to rack our fire rate up to absolutely insane levels. I like this. It means we have to basically stay in the room the whole time, though. We are freezing on all of these guys, slowing them all down, sleeping them. Really, really nice. There you go, get you frozen. Sadly, Mysterious Liquid doesn't quite get directly underneath him, so it doesn't entirely slow him down, but it kind of works. And then we can do this as well. And then because you're slow and you barely move, get you frozen, take care of you in the meantime. A little bit tricky here, but we're getting through it. Like I said, the freezing's working very, very well. Beautiful. Lovely little angel deal. Let's see what this has in store for us. Do you know what? I've got I've come to like this item. I've come to like this item. I used to be a very um very sort of iffy on it. But now I think it's pretty decent. Um, nothing here I want. Let's go for it. Actually, let's let's buy this. Speed upgrade's not too bad. HP upgrade's not too bad. We'll buy that as well. Luck penny, I ain't gonna buy though. Um, I think we'll just go. I just gotta remember to tap shoot is the only thing. It's worthless if I don't tap shoot. Down we go. I don't know why rooms like this exist in this, because why would you ever use a bomb or a key for those? Because you're never going to buy bombs. You're never going to spend a key to open one of those, really, are you? Um, we've got pretty bad stuff here. What's this? Damage up. Taking damage um, has an ever-increasing chance to give you sacrificial knife, or very rarely mum's knife. After giving an item, the trinket itself is destroyed. Hmm. Kind of intriguing. And then here we got some butt bombs. And some stockings. Okay. Not great. Not great. Um, let's do a reroll off the bat here. I don't know what that is, but it's some kind of dice, I think. So I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to that, I guess. And we'll try and, again, pump the uh, pump the melatonin as far as it'll go. You've got to kind of play it a little bit. You've got to kind of game it to make sure you can use it every single time. It's not always super easy to do. It depends on where the enemies spawn, really. We got lucky there. Ghosties aren't too bad. The big boy is a little annoying here. Not oh god, kind of didn't see that coming. Yeah, big boy, I'm not a big fan of. There you go. Well, I think once we get up to like anything over nine, dude. Big boy. Forever to die there. Once we get over like 9, we can probably stop. But I suppose if we can fit extras in and get to like 10 or 11 before the boss wave comes. And it is worth it. I see you there, fella. Make sure we take care of him. And it's boss wave. There we go. We got up to 11.7. I'd say that's more than enough to do good work out of most of the bosses here. Just me, just unfortunate that on the actual boss itself, we're not going to be able to see the power of this thing show itself. Now, this is a boss that I'm very happy to be able to gib like this, because this boss is really annoying normally. And we're able to do some insane damage to him just by doing this. That made me feel good. Good old Bernhardt there. And I'm not quite sure the best way to deal with him, but that's probably one part of it. Oh god. Kind of wasn't expecting these guys to be so tricky, but once you freeze them, no problem. No problem. Another angel deal as well. We're going to take ourselves some Immaculate Heart there. Lovely. Got to love some Immaculate Heart. We'll take the dice, whatever it is. It's not a dice, it's Cube of Meat. God damn it, Spider Mod. The globe. Bell clapper would be kind of nice if we could grab an extra penny from somewhere. A 
we'll take this trinket for the slight extra damage boost. Looks like we're not getting an extra penny. That's kind of okay. Here, I will I will blow these up. Oh, I was not expecting that. That's that extra penny. There's another Eternal Heart. Dude, we're going, doing really well on HP right now. We've got a token there. Um, don't know if there's anything we can sort of utilize for the token. Hmm. Let's blow this up in the chance of getting a nickel or whatever. Sadly, we did not. I'll drop my trinket and duplicate that and try and get a golden version of it for some extra damage, maybe. I gambled. I tried. Anyways, let's go down. Keep it going. I think we've got a really good setup going on right now. We're having basically zero problems whatsoever. Got some keys here for this. Uh, Rogue Planet, of course. Of course you got to give me Rogue Planet. I wasn't expecting it, but... Here it is. Um, Mother's Love would be kind of nice here. Yeah, so Rogue Planet's obviously this thing with the spinny roundy shots. Gonna make things slightly more difficult, but once we get our insane fire rate going, it's actually gonna be kind of fun. I don't even know what hit me there, so don't even ask. Okay, things are getting way too close for comfort here. Damn it. This fire out with Rogue Planet is pretty fun though, I've got to say. Do not like these guys. I'm hoping I end up getting Mum's Knife at some point, but I don't even think no, Mum's Knife will work with us. Okay, we're up to 10.7 fire rate now. That's good. It's kind of like you've got to use uh, the tears as like a wrecking ball. Up to 11.5. Now, Sister Viz, the new Sister Viz, I'm a little unfamiliar with, so I'm probably going to take some bad damage to. I've got double Sister Viz here, and honestly, absolutely memed. Beautiful stuff. we got a bit of Cage. Oh my lord. Okay, Mysterious Liquid is... Seriously proving it's worth right now, I think. Sit it under the enemy and it just does insane damage. Another angel deal as well. Holy grail, it is what it is. We've got very good HP though, that's, that's at least one thing we've got going for us here. We'll take this bad boy. For some extra stats. Fruity plums, nice as well. Um... Wait for these tears to disappear. One second. Hmm. This would probably be better overall. Um, buy this. Gives me an extra 10 cent. An extra 15 cent, sorry. We'll move on down to the next floor. Good run so far. Good run so far. Of course, the Greed Merge runs are always a little speedier. A little easier, but... Doesn't mean you can't appreciate them. Ugh. We've already got 25 range, we don't need 30. That's good, but I don't think it does much for us right now. However... Darn tootin'. I was hoping I could get a secret room there. If I could find out where secret room is, we've got some plans in place. Damn it. I was going to say we could buy this card and go that route. Okay. Let's keep using this. Yeah, 
Okay, bomb fly coming in. Careful. Ow! I'm not even quite sure what's going on right now, I'll be honest. It's this little fucker, this little jumpy guy I'm having trouble with. Okay, we lost that, that's fine. No sides, bug! Fuck's sake. Kind of forgot about the sides. Right, we got a fire rate going up to 11 now. So we, fr we froze that guy mid mid spawn animation, so not ideal. Oh, dude. He hit me so many times there. Not too bad, though. We got this. We got this. Oh, dude. The amount of damage I took there was a little bit redonkulous. Oh, dude. I keep freezing enemies before I'm able to deal damage to them. Okay, just keep the rogue planet on top of them, and they'll be dead in no time. Ah, uh, finally got a devil deal. I'll check it out. Fettered is... Uh, yeah, I'll take Fettered. Fettered is good enough. It's iffy, but it's good enough. Don't like the fact there's a penny on top of that fire that I can't reach. Right, do a little bit of re-rolling. See what we get. Red stew? Okay, lump of coal's fantastic. Um... Red stew's pretty good. And I think we just go while we've got red stew active. Lovely. We try and get the next wave started as quick as we can, but lump of coal. Lump of coal's gonna be very, very useful for us. I will say that. Um Damn. Uh, Whirling Leech I'll take for the HP, I guess. Do you know what Melatonin would be really good with? Nord Leaf. While you stood still, you just get that invincibility. Yeah, Lump of Coal is clearly, clearly proving to be very, very valuable for us right now. Good old fettered shots. Yeah, Lump of Coal is going to mean we can absolutely wreck the boss. Again with this bullshit. This boss. Always making me goddamn wait. God, our damage is so much higher, holy shit. Okay, I think I'll be taking both of these. Thank you very much. Now we've got to be quick to try and keep as much damage as we possibly can. Right, um, Greg doesn't matter. Let's, let's reroll a little bit here. We'll take that. We'll take that. Data Miner obviously isn't good. Oh, hello. What the fuck? What happened there? <laughs> right, we're good to go. Let us be aware. <laughs> that was interesting. Now we've got 28 damage for the boss, plus this lump of coal business. Should be a relatively okay boss fight here, I'd imagine. Mm 
I'm going to say all of these are going to get destroyed. And then Fetter does a good job too. We got plus two black hearts from somewhere. I don't even know where. They're both gone now already. I mean, unfortunately, as you can clearly see, it's very difficult to see. Also, Immaculate Heart plus, um, plus this Rogue Planet is a really weird combo. Because I've got two different lots of tiers circling me at two different orientations. Which just makes for a lot of confusion. Ow. I've gotten stuck in the spheres now. I'm trying to pick up the coins so he doesn't heal, but it's really, really hard to actually grab them. Yeah, even one use of melatonin here has been super useful. So we're keeping him basically locked in position, pretty much. Doesn't mean we can't get hit, but... Helps a lot with keeping him from doing too many annoying attacks. Oh, that hit me. That's some bullshit right there. I think he only does half heart damage at this stage, though, so it's not as bad. Okay. He's got his fist in the air, so I'm stepping away a little bit. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, no. We had this issue last time, didn't we? I forgot about this. Bollocks. I forgot melatonin breaks this boss. God damn it, game. Melatonin, he just stays in the sky forever. Right. Rewind. I'm going to have to fight him without melatonin, which is a bit upsetting considering I already did the first phase, but... It's only fair. Yeah, I completely forgot the melatonin just absolutely breaks this guy. Even at one use of melatonin, it just doesn't like it. But... It's not going to make that much of a difference, I wouldn't think. It'll make a little bit, but hopefully not a ton. No healing for you, thanks, big fella. I, I like this setup because I'm able to just cover the room in tears and destroy all of these that he spawns. Dude, I keep getting hit by God knows what. I just I can't see under the sea of green. Again, no healing for you, big boy. Right. That's that phase done. Okay. Now onto the real stuff, the actual challenge. Like I said, this guy only does half heart damage at this stage and he has a lot less HP, so it shouldn't be as big of a problem. Trying to get these coins before he gets them. There you go, he actually moves this time, you see. My goodness. I've managed to collect a lot of tears while not shooting at him. I love Rogue Planet, it's so fun. Ow. Yeah, only half heart damage as you saw there, though. Easy, easy claps on this guy. At this point, just get really close to him. Watch him suffer. I loved good old Twisted Pear in the mix as well. That was really fun. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was uh, a bit of a quick one, but you have those episodes sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.